All right, we are back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax, and we are continuing the playthrough of SpaceX. And last time we uh, just got our coal train set up, um, and now I've also uh, extended the train stations to have uh, a spot for copper and a spot for stone, and uh, you know, just started cleaning up these last little mines a bit, trying to just uh, finish them off. Um, but <clears throat> now the base at least has got the resources it needs and uh, yeah like our old stone mine is almost completely gone now and this stone mine is gone. Um, we barely have enough throughput for stone because yeah I mean yeah we're, we're turning up to two lanes of stone directly into landfill now. Um, <clears throat> so that's like quite a lot too and the landfill is pretty expensive but yeah, no worries. Um, we're sitting pretty on resources right now, and also, yeah, I got this copper mine set up. Get some copper on the train network into the base. Um, so then, yeah, the base will be sustaining a good while. Um, and so, like, what I want to do now is um, <clears throat> start maybe using the logistic train network and. I mean, we want to build and expand, but we're already getting to the point where, like, yeah, having this one giant global RoboPort network is pretty cumbersome, and uh, it's, like, a little bit difficult to build things. It's kind of be nice to have, like, a builder train. Um, and so what I would like to maybe start using are warehouses, and, um, and what I want to build are at least the uh, storage warehouses. Uh, so these big six by six ones, um, <clears throat> and we will just set them up right here because at least gives us two out of the three things we need. And um, yeah, we'll just make one little uh, pile of them, or however many we feed it. <clears throat> I guess I need to let's just ask for some green circuits. See if there's any in the network. And we will hopefully make some of these pretty soon here. Let's grab a couple. Just let all just whatever, just have just have them all for for now. It's fine. Get them out of the network. Um, yeah, so we have this old stuff. I mean, old in the sense of so was the car abuse design. Um, three, maybe at least four, four, yeah. And um, we now want to maybe, yeah, design something to help us build and expand and even do everything really. I mean, yeah. So, but we want all the logistics stuff to happen again, right? So that's that's sort of the goal. I guess I'm just waiting on these green circuits to get here. This huge wave of green circuits are coming. <clears throat> okay, it's fine, whatever, it's fine. I don't want any more, do I? Okay, and then, yeah, so will then be to start using the logistics trains network and you can do a lot of fancy stuff with the logistics trains network and so we're going to probably try to redesign the space a bit uh, or this station as well and I'm likely thinking that um, well should we just get rid of this I guess so maybe this first one will be the hub, or no, well maybe just do it here, I guess. So, I guess like the first plan, I was thinking, um, no, it's up here. Let's do it up here, yeah. Oh no, medios. Well, yeah, okay, so let's try to work this out. So, um, I was thinking of what I want to try to do for now, since, I mean, we don't have any logistics networks. And the cars on belts are still like 
kind of far away. Um, so what I was thinking was just trying to maybe make um, this logistics provider station. So we'll, we'll just call this logistics, logistics hub. And basically like I, I'm going to use these giant storage warehouses and, and then just make all of my storage. I'm just going to get move everything into store. This will be the storage for everything. And uh, right, I need some, I think, stack and surge now. I, we finally got stack and surge produced. So let's get these guys. <clears throat> Hopefully that's, yep. Looks like we have at least some of them. Um, <clears throat> and okay, so then the idea will be then to um, use the logistics train network. And uh, we need to make these um, use these filter inserters, right? Because because like what what we can do right is in this one station basically provide everything to the to the logistics train network. So everything that's in the storage could be ac accessible through through the logistics train network. So that's the sort of the intention here. Um, and then I would say maybe. Um, where do I want this? I could put it like there. No. I don't want it to interfere with that. Let me just try. Let's try one down as well, okay? Um, yes. And and then so basically like the way these logistics train network stations work is um you can put into there's this input one and there's an output and um, we're going to want to maybe let's start with the inputs and basically this will be a provider so then um, we want to tell the logistics network that you know we have these types of items ready for providing and then we also need to tell it some other things that we're going to put into this combinator about its settings. And so, um, <clears throat> so we want to set a provide stack threshold. So like, yeah, this will provide anything as long as there's at least one stack of it. Um, might even do less than that. I mean, we might just do provide threshold of one. So you can provide anything you want. Typically there's like some default provide threshold. I think it might be a thousand. Um, provide priority. We also want this to be a higher priority to provide station um, just for recycling purposes. And we want this lock slots for a wagon. So this will just make sure that we don't accidentally overfill the train and mess up the order. Um, and then I think everything else is fine. Yeah, so those are the settings we'll send into this signal, into this provider. Okay, and then the idea will be that um, yeah, let's just, you guys are not super useful anymore, huh? Right, but then the idea was like, we'll try to get like most of the bases. Uh, yeah, we're just, let's just get rid of like all of these uh, provider, I mean storage chests uh, throughout the base and just move everything into, I think these, um, yeah, all this stuff too. Everything will get moved into here. And then also just be on uh, available on the train network is the intention. And eventually, yeah, we'll just start to move like all of the other. Yeah, we'll just use this like kind of quasi logistics robot system with destructing stuff to move into the storage to put it on the train network. That's the idea because the real logistics robots are actually very very far away in, in the tech tree. So. Um, We'll have to make do with this, I think, until at least we get to the cars on belts phase where we'll have a, um, use the cars for the logistics system. Okay, so like then now the intention is that all these objects are available to the logistics train network through the station. So like basically the entire hub can be just put in this one station or all the building material. This is kind of like gonna be the builder train. And then, um, so then what's nice about the logistics train is um, 
yeah, we'll want to just uh, do one of these these things. So basically, we want to say that um, should we do it like this, maybe like this. So what needs to be <clears throat> mm, yes. So basically, this is just going to be like one of these minus one situations. And this is going to be, no, I think I liked it the other way, I guess. Let's try it like this. So this is still just going to be each times uh, minus one. I'll put each. And basically, right, we want the difference between what's on the train. Uh, so what's on the train here into the minus one and the sort of logistics hub um, request will be in the plus one, right? So this will say like how much does the train actually want this combinator? It, like setting it's set by the LTN system to tell you this is the what the train wants, and this will subtract what's on the train. And then again, we'll set up this um, set filters kind of system with the stack inserters. And um, then the stack inserters will turn on into and grab out whatever items you know that we want. So we just want set filters here. Just make sure that they are all set. Um, seems good. Just uh, double check. Hopefully they're all set. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then now, um, <clears throat> yes. So now everything that's in these chests should be accessible to the logistics train network. And we should be able to then request things from the base to other logistics train stops. And um, another thing we need to do is make some uh, the logistic train depots. And so what I was thinking is um, we'll have we'll have uh, like a deeper set of stackers in our stations. Uh, so gonna get rid of some of this water. <clears throat> and um, oh man, my guys are busy. I don't have my yes, and then for it, so these are just going to be then the depots. <clears throat> um, and then to make a depot. Constant combinator again, gotta put it in the same spot. It's gonna just output the fact that this is a depot stop. And uh, put this into here. And we'll make our first LTN train, just lay it out like this for now. And yeah, we're just gonna continue with this uh, one to one design. Um, I think, yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, the, this train size is sufficient, um, but <clears throat> I am not entirely sure if it will be or not. Um, and then, okay, what I think then we can do to maybe just test the system out and make sure um, we can kind of get something going is to make a requester here. Um, and in general, this will be actually, yeah, we can just completely redo it all, I guess. Um, so this will just be the fuel station, I think. So this will just be um, uh, fuel. And <clears throat> in this case, um, we'll make a very simple requester for fuel. Um, and I guess we will kind of want the same thing, I think, with this. Um, and we'll probably want some sort of system. Uh, probably just doing... This is fine. Does this reach, I guess, is the question? Will this reach here? No. Let's see. What's one that will reach? Yeah, let's just do that. Um, all 
I don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So this would go like this, and then, um, okay. Um, so now this will be a request station, and now we'll just say um, the request stack threshold, let's just say it's one stack. And what we'll want to do is request uh, fuel. And then in the LTN, what you do to make a request is you make it a negative number. And so this actually is very convenient. And so let's just request like, um, you know, 200. Oh, no transport, no train to transfer items. Yes, okay, so good. So that sort of means it worked, but the train, there's no trains because we basically didn't. Uh, turn you on and the way we turn you on is by changing this to I want to name it depot and if we set depot as their destination see now okay yes so the LTN triggered and it's gonna go from the depot to then logistics hub pick up 200 uh, fuel and then bring it to I did it, I did it. Okay, good. Well, it looks like it's gonna go all the way around. That's fine. <laughs> um, but then it's gonna come here and drop the fuel off. So then let's get the fuel out. And we'll just then use this to fuel the system. And we'll just come, I think, uh, just come like right here through the train station, this I think will work pretty well. Yep, looks good. All right, nice. And now we have refueling as well. Um, and I think we'll just leave it at that for now, um, the refueling. I think um, we'll, we might have to think about how to maybe make a more general fueling system for putting more depots down and more trains and more depots. Um, but yeah, I can just make more depots like this. And I think like the goal will be to kind of have this like stacker with extra depots uh, like all over the place. And so we're kind of build, we're gonna try to build a pretty like distributed rail network. Um, and uh, yeah, so then, but now at least we have um, this logistics system here to uh, help us build. And um, what I want to do, oh yeah, let's move it up then one. Yeah, I should go up one. All right, yes, like that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, nice, like that, yeah. Um, Okay, and then and then eventually, yes, yeah, so I'm going to like now just maybe disconnect the um, the uh, train network, um, and uh, try to yeah move more stuff into the storage here, and um, then uh, we will be able to use this with the logistics train network to. Um, start requesting items and uh, using it as sort of like the builder train and um, you know again just like help us use the train network to start really expanding uh, and the intention now is also to like disconnect the kind of central hub from the um, external hub and um, we will just then have to build another type of uh, like a requester station essentially We'll just do a more like generic expansion requester station, uh, kind of like you know the same as the fuel station, but um, generic logistics requester station, I think. Um, and then uh, start being able to use the trains to service like these remote stations, like we did in the car view space, and just this will help us like be able to um, build and expand a lot faster. Um, so. Great, yeah, so now we have now our, I guess our logistics train hub finished and showing that yeah, well now we can like at least request some things. Uh, so then we'll have this like standard LTN requester that we'll expand upon and really start to use the logistics train networks. Um, uh, but then yeah, that'll do it for this session. There you go, Factorio, I'm Pax and I'll see you next time.